good evening and welcome my name is Sandra my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome how are we all doing are we all doing all right yeah yeah you sure good that's what I like to hear okay so this evening I am doing an unboxing and it arrived sort of late this afternoon and it's my birch box okay now i very much suspect that this is the birch box for october they haven't quite birch box haven't quite got their logistics sorted out yet since they're since they come since they've come back to us in when did they come back was it july august something like that um they haven't quite got their logistics sorted out yet so we are still receiving the boxes the following month you know a few a few days maybe a week or so into the following month so i suspect very much that this is my october box but what i've noted is that it's a nice green box not the sort of standard sort of cardboard box with birch box written on the side so that's changed they did say in last month's box which was september's box that they are still working on improving the box design and they're and they're still working on the sort of um, shipping of the product so that no bearing that in mind i'm okay with it being a little bit late because at least they've been open with us and telling us in advance what's happening so here we go the box um as i said it has returned back to us and it's 12 pounds 95 for the box you get so that's what it's looking like a little sneak peek there that's enough um it you get roughly five sample size products in there birch box of old so before they had their little sort of sabbatical we'll call it a sabbatical they used to be really quite good at providing us with products that were quite new to the market so samples of products that were new to the market so that was kind of cute not quite seen that as yet with this new launch of Birchbox. i've had a couple of decent products but not some old products which i feel have been sort of lying around in their in their warehouses since way before so um before i go into this months or last month's box and just do a little quick review re recap of how i got on with the products last month so we received five products last month the first product was from ola neon and it was a lipstick i've still got it here and i have worn it a couple of times usually like when i am working from down here rather than in my bedroom under a duvet um i i will put this lipstick on because it's just here and it's easy it's a lip balm but it's very, very pigmented and it's a nice sort of standard colour which I can put on every day. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's enough, it's comfortable. It's a good little lipstick. So I actually quite enjoyed that last month. So that, that's a good product. Next product we got was from Marcel, which is a hydrating mask. Um, again, I've used it once so far i probably can get two maybe three uses out of it but again nice mask and I, I just put it on in the evenings usually when did i do it i probably did it about two weeks ago and it was literally just after a day taking my makeup off and i just thought right you know what hey put a mask on and that was it whilst i was just sorting myself out sorting my things out sorting my clothes out for the next day that sort of thing so nice little mask it's comfortable did the job i was more than happy with it third item was the balance me so this is a product that i've received before from beauty box subscriptions and i suspect it may not be but i'm just being a cow here it may be a product that was lying around from before their sabbatical but it's like an exfoliating sort of liquid I, I personally don't like it so i did put it in my giveaway product so there you go the next product was from vita mask and it was a, a sheet mask but it's a sheet mask in segments so like you've got a face bit you got cheeks bit you got it was all in three sections haven't used it as yet but it's there to be used so again pleased with that and the final product was from Manakadar. again another product which i think may have been hanging around from before because we don't really see Manakadar around in beauty boxes anymore um it used to be a very popular brand we saw as a, a filler product in beauty boxes three years ago maybe um haven't seen it around in the last few years so that's why it makes me think that this could be a product that's just been lying around for a while it was a glow illuminator and Again, I'm a, I'm a very much an oily skinned person, very oily skinned. I mean, I literally just 
patted my face down with powder before I came on the camera just now. Um, so I don't need anything that's going to give me any glow. I really don't. I don't need that help at all. So that product also went in the giveaway. So last month I got, for my, for my box, I gave it a 3 out of 5 because 3 out of 5 products I will definitely be using and 2 of the products I put in a giveaway. So it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all last month. Well, let's get into this month's or September's box or October's box. Yeah, it's definitely October. So it says so there. Right, so let's see what they're saying. So say the October box is here in November. Um, it says, we hope you're, you're looking forward to this season's sampling of makeup, hair care, skin care and more. Picked and packaged just for you. This month, we're loving the bold makeup trends. Okay. Uh, that come with the the spookiest time of year well that's past now and with Halloween on the horizon and, and Wednesday Adams in the rear view okay is that series coming back Wednesday because I really enjoyed that <laughs> I really enjoyed that and um, on Halloween night so some quite a few of the girls that came knocking around the door the little kids were dressed in Wednesday costumes which I thought was really really sweet Right, anyway, um, so, and with Halloween on the horizon and Wednesday Adams in the rear view, October is the perfect time to experiment. Wear loving statement lips and a clean face. Try deep hues with matte or satin finishes like cherry, red or dark plum. Interesting. Smudge smoky eyes paired with a, a nude lip if black isn't your thing. Mm -hmm. Try playing with a brown, purple, blue or green shadow and monochromatic lat latte makeup. Try using a neutral palette of creams and browns for your full look. Interesting. Behind the scenes at Birchbox, we're working to return to a regular shipping and billing cadence, forming new partnerships that we can't wait to share and continuing to improve your experience from customising a box to opening it. Our biggest update, the shop is back and open for business. Check out your favourites and take £5 off your order with code SHOP5 off our treat team birch box interesting so they managed to get the the shop open but they can't sort out their shipping and stuff i don't know all right so what they do they tend to pick out their three favorite products on the back here which they give information on and um they've got a qr code here let me see what this qr code does if it does anything at all let's have a look because they only give details about three of the products so i want to see information about everything in my box so let's have a look and see what it says okay so they've got the leaflet um and that's it really i think yeah it's just what's on the leaflet really they haven't got anything else nope 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 okay that's it all right then let's focus on the three things that they've got on the leaflet then so first thing let's see if we can find it Three. Right, first thing doesn't even look like I've got it. Yeah, first thing they're talking about here, I haven't got. So this this is not a good start. This is not a good start. So the first thing should be a generation clay detoxifying charcoal clay mask. Um it's a mask I have received before and it's a mask that I do actually like, but I haven't got it. Okay, um, so what they say about it is, I'll put a picture of what the mask looks like, what I should have received, or a sample of what I should have received. Made with all natural activated char, which works like a magnet to draw out dirt, toxins and impurities. This mask deeply detoxifies and cleans, and cleans to keep breakouts and blackheads at bay. As I said, I have used the mask before, it is a nice clay mask, but I haven't received it in the box, so... Don't know what to say about that. Right, the next product is from Philip Kingsley. So I have got that. And this is um, Philip Kingsley Finishing Touch Polishing Serum. Um, packed with nourishing pro vitamin B5 and vitamin A. <coughs> Excuse me. This vegan friendly conditioning balm works on all hair types to soothe, style and protect your locks. Did we mention it smells of cherry blossom as well? Okay, 
All right. So we've got that. I'll probably keep this. Um, I, I probably won't be using it, but I can see my daughter using it. My daughter also gets birch box, so she may have received this already, but I'm sure she'd be happy to receive two of these. So I'll, I'll give her that. The third item um, which is mentioned here, I haven't received either, but again, I don't actually mind. This time I don't mind because it's not a brand I'm that fond of. So the third product should have been from Balance Me um, and it's a Balance Me Radiant Face Oil. I have received that before in Beauty Box subscriptions didn't like it so I'm glad I didn't receive it um, so it's a uh, looking to restore radiance to sleepy skin made in Britain this award-winning elixir black blends eight skin saving oils like rosehip amazonian buriti and kukui in combination they work to brighten firm and even at the skin tone reducing the appearance of fine lines wrinkles and scarring along the way Okay, so those are the three things that I should have received in a box and I didn't receive. On the back here, they've also got sort of pictures of other things, which I'm assuming are things that you could receive in your box as well. So I'll just go through the things that I did receive. So the only things that they said, um, which they're saying I should have in my box, which I received, is the Philip Kingsley Polish Serum. What I also received was an eyelash curler, Birchbox own brand. I don't want, I don't need, so that will be going in my giveaway. I'm not saying anything more. Next is in transit camera close up um, from This Works. It's a mask, moisturizer, and primer in one. I've received this loads of times before as well, sort of two, three years ago in Beauty Box subscriptions. Not for me, don't like it, won't be using it, so it'll be going also in a giveaway box that's two items in a giveaway the next item i don't mind it's a hand cream this this hand cream i actually really like this is from polar um and it's their um hand cream this is a decent hand cream so i'm happy with that i will keep that it's that time of the year when we need everything we can for our hands so more than happy with that the next product so what's that so that's three items the next product is what's well, four items sorry the next product is from beauty crop beauty crop is a brand i actually really like and this is a mascara fabulous flocking lashes um i'm i'm assuming this will be a decent mascara but to be honest i don't need it um i've got a lot of mascaras available to me right now i've got three on the go at the moment i've got a whole load waiting to be used I have used this mascara before because um, I've received this before again a couple of years ago and I remember that I did like it but anything from Beauty Crop I know is going to be pretty decent so this is a decent product but I'll be putting this in the giveaway as well. So what's that? I've got three products I'm putting in a giveaway and the final product in my box this month is a sheet mask from Vitamask and it's a super green detox facial three step facial. Oh it's like the one we received last month but this is the other one. Um, so you've got step one oxygenating matcha clay facial scrub so good I'm happy with that. Then step two is the green sheet mask so it's a natural biodegradable sheet mask infused with green tea kale spinach broccoli tea tree and charcoal powder so apply to dry skin skin and leave for 20 minutes so that is all cool and then step three is the moisturizer antioxidant seaweed moisturizer um, it's a light antioxidant and hydrating moisturizer made with seven types of seaweed extract so there you go so more than happy with that it's just, it's just like the one we received last month which is a three-step thing i do like these so i'm happy to receive that as well so i think what i might do because i haven't used the other masks yet i might give the other one to my mum um because that's more of a hydrating one so that'd be more suitable for older skins and i'll keep this one for myself so in summary how are we doing with this box so I'm keeping this, I'm happy with that. So that's gonna get a score of one. We've got the hand cream from Polar, I'm happy with, I'm keeping that, that's all good. Um, and we've got the Philip Kingsley Styling uh, Finishing Touch product. I'm not going to be using it myself, but I'm pretty certain my, my daughter will use this um, to help after she gets her hair done and everything to, to style her hair, give it the polish. That's three. So three products I'm keeping. Three products I'm putting in a giveaway are the mascara from Beauty Crop. Nothing wrong with this mascara as far as I'm concerned. It's just that I really don't need it. I'm, I'm, I'm falling over with mascaras at the moment. So that's going to go in the giveaway. 
This is from This Works. It's a 3-in-1 product, mask, moisturiser, serum, all sorts of things. I, I've tried this product before, didn't do anything for me, didn't like it. I'm not a fan of this brand, so I'm putting that in the giveaway. And the final product is an eyelash curler, um, Birchbox own brand. I have no need for eyelash curlers because my, my eyelashes are short, sparse, and they're curly so I don't need this so if I use this I'd pluck out the few eyelashes I have left so that's also going to give away so we've got I'm using so I'm giving this box my October box three out of six yeah there we go and that's my birch box for this month your thoughts £12.95 £12.95 value Ooh, I don't know. This is probably worth what six pounds. This is probably worth five pounds. Eleven. I'd say they've just about scraped the value here. Just about for me, they've just about scraped the value. So an okay box, not not brilliant, not brilliant. But your thoughts, let me know down below yeah all right guys thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out and if you haven't done so already press that subscribe button yep just hit that button all is good hopefully the next couple of boxes next couple of videos i'll be talking about a giveaway which will be coming up this this month all right guys take care see you soon Bye.